Hey y'all, it's Lenny here, and today we are going to be playing some Street Fighter 6. And it's a special day because, um, not because Trinity's there. Um, it's because we got some new DLC. So, if you guys haven't been paying attention so far, um, to, like, what's been happening in Street Fighter, um, this new character is going to come out named Akuma. And today I plan to do his tutorial, see how he plays. I have an error communication. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing the new DLC. Let me just go ahead and get it where... Okay, now we're going to see the man himself. Once he loads in. Oh, oh, he, he's loading. He's sitting. Okay. Ooh, we can get the original haircut. Because I, I know this is his original hair. But, you know, I think I'm just going to stick with his OG. And I think it's better to put him against Ryu. All right, let's see his stats. Oh, see his faces too? Nah, they're okay. All right, let's see. Challenge completed, let's go. Okay. Fool, <laughs> that's a perfect first one. Be gone, wow, I'm, I'm already getting so many. Okay, so let's, okay, his dry brush? It looks like it snaps back. Can you see that? Okay. Uh, let's look at his command list. So we got Go Hadouken. Fire a key blast directly forward. Useful for attacking opponents out of range. Zaku Hadouken. Fire a key blast from the air to the ground below. This is effective as a tool to shield your opponent. The overdrive version can be performed from a neutral jump. Okay. Go sure you can um, leap into the air and perform a powerful uppercut. A go sure you can is invincible to an air's jumping attacks, making it a great anti air tool. Minus one. So this is a minus zero, so you can do like a low mix up here. Like, like after a heavy close range or a light close range, you can do like a mix up here. Whether you go like for. I guess an overhead or um, a low. Oh, that was one of his supers. I accidentally did. Okay. Uh, let's look at his other moves. His Tatsumaki Zankiyako. I am not pronouncing these right, and don't expect me to. I, I Just be nice on me. Uh, unleash a series of roundhouse kicks while moving forward. Useful in combos as well for sending your opponent flying away. So this is like the normal Tatsu. So I think he not combo off of it. He only pop it off the heavy. Oh, so that's his light. This is his um, medium, and then his heavy just goes straight upwards. Okay. I thought it was only his EX, but apparently not. I didn't know if I had like a finisher, like um, uh, Luke's or whatever. So let's see if we can. That was a move that we haven't looked at yet. Okay. Um, Ariel. Um, Itatsu can be. I'm just gonna say Tatsu. Itatsu can be performed in the air during a jump. Um, useful for changing jump directory or to finish up combos. And then. Adamant Flame, a quick thrust engulfed in flame, useful for exploiting an opponent's opening, or in combos. Okay. Can he combo off of this? Okay. Okay, you can do a sure you can. 
Okay, you can do a medium, sure you can. Uh, I meant to do heavy there. Okay, you can combo from, um... You can combo from, uh, the... From Crouching Heavy Punch into this. So, you can do Crouching Heavy Punch... something like that where you go crouching heavy punch adamant flame to sure you can so that's kind of cool okay that's a lock or not lock but oh what's this kick and that's his back kick okay we'll, we'll, we'll look at those moves later but okay now, ooh, this is going to be the big one. Demon Raid. So we got a no input one, a uh, punch one, kick. You charge down? To do another one. Mix this in with another raid to keep your opponent guessing. Oh, it's a ground drop. Okay. Um, Demon goes... Zayaku. Okay, so you can do um, the fireball after that. Our son. Okay, that's how you do that one. An attack only available from the overdrive version is useful in combos against an airport opponent. And it doesn't consume additional drive, which is different from how uh, like Luke's works, where if you use his like fireball, right, and you hit punches... And it's, instead of using just two, it uses three. It uses, like, one additional more. Okay. Ooh, this is the teleport. Forward teleport grab? Okay. So. Okay. Okay, you can't teleport in the corner. And it, it looks kind of funny. <laughs> it's just kind of... Flipping back there. Okay. So you can do four. Wait, can you just do that early? Oh, you can. So you can stop it early. That's cool. How much startup does it have? Oh, I can't act for a whole second. Wait. So, like, in Demon Raid, what is... We got your kick. We got your... So the kick is not a overhead, as you see in the attack thing. So this is not an overhead. So you still can block this high. So that's good. So, and also the hold down. It is just much faster to press another button. Like... But I guess you won't be put in lag. I guess that's what it is. But you won't be stuck in, like, recovery. Now his supers. Okay. Oh! You can't perform... It's... You can perform when Vitality... So it's locked behind... Doing it behind... Uh, whatever. 25%. What does it look like on Modern? So all those memes about one button, um, Raging Demon, it, it's not a thing, and which I'm kind of glad for. Okay, let's see if we can do it first try. Oh, I, I pressed, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Four thousand damage. I, don't, I, I, I mean, not to complain or anything, but I expected the 
so I've heard so much about this move, and I don't really play too much of the other Street Fighter games. So when I heard Raging Demon and the stories behind of like the actual lore of it being like an insta kill move, I eh. And also, it's behind a 25% vitality thing. I don't know. And also, he uses a free super bars, so... I don't know. Maybe his level 3 is better. Okay. So, Sip of Calamity. Uh, actually, let's go backwards. We're, we're gonna start with level one. So level one, I accidentally did already. So it's a nice. It's kind of like um reuse. Let me do it for the distance. And you can't charge it because I was trying to charge it there. So it looks like it has some invincibility at the beginning or projectile invincibility. So. That's, that's good. Alright. Now we're gonna look at... His other level one. Um, which is... In the air, but you use kicks. Okay. It does decent damage. So... I, I think it looks cool. I don't know, it's just... It looks like... Well, good thing I didn't accidentally hit that. Um, okay. Empria's End. Turns the Satsumi no Hado into a powerful flame piercing the opponent. Opponents are open to a follow-up attack. Ooh. So is this kind of like um, Marissa's where it pushes them to the corner? Kinda, but just to the other side of the screen. Okay. And I don't think there's any way I can get to the other side fast enough. Is there? Let me try doing like a heavy Tatsu. Or, oh, I could probably do that for a mix up. It's so, like do this and then mix up whether I'm gonna grab or do a low or something. Okay, that's interesting. And then the last one is Sip of Calamity, which is four two kicks. So we're gonna see the true Sip of Calamity. Owie! Okay. So that was the... That was kind of cool. I wanna see it again. Punch. Oh. God, he looks dead there. <laughs> okay, it has an A-frame startup, so it's an easy one to combo into. Okay, let me see if I can get it. Okay, no, no. Oh, what if I do it after... So... Oh, I forgot it has a follow-up, that's why I have to do it. Nope, okay. Well, I, I know I can do a sure you can. See if I can cancel out from that. I said I do a sure you can, okay. There we go. So we could do something like that with this combo. Easy 5,000 damage already. Alright, there's my day one. That's my day one combo. That's what I'm going to take with it. Um, if you guys did enjoy and you want to see more Kuma content, because I am definitely going to be recording more episodes today. Please leave a like and subscribe. It does help out a lot. Um, other than that, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye!